But you don't get anything done if you're not willing to stand up and lead. Leading is not easy. It's servant leadership. And it's about understanding that if you don't save your children, you're going to lose the future of the country. You're going to lose the future of this community, of, of, of the black community. And you're going to undo all the sacrifice of all those folk who died and struggled so that we have our children have a better life. Over 80% of black children can't read or compute at grade level in fourth, eighth, or twelfth grade, if 40% of them have already dropped out in some places more, um, what are they going to do in this economy, this globalized economy? You are sentencing 80% of these children to social and economic death. There's no future in this economy. That's, that's what's going to feed, this is what's feeding the prison pipeline. There are no jobs. There's drugs up there. The, the school system has really gone bad again, never has been good. How can, we can't let this happen in our watch. You can, we, this feels some days when I have my bad nightmare like the beginning of the second post-reconstruction era. I want to say we can lose it all. And if we don't stop this incarceration and the underlying illiteracy and, and economic disempowerment and political disempowerment, because you go into prison, you come out, you can't get a job, you can't vote in many states, you can lose it all. What is on the line here? is the sacrifice of the 60 years of the civil rights movement from Montgomery bus boycott to now. This is the most serious thing that you could possibly think of. And it's harder because the enemies are not always so clear. And old leader sort of reminded me that their sons and daughters of the segregationists and the, and, and the Ku Klux Klan are now in the state legislatures. Wake up. And I'm so glad and grateful that you are here. Your struggle is as hard as the struggle that we had if not harder. Because you know, it was wonderful when you had three networks, you could show the same police dogs, you could show the same fire hoses, you had Bull Connor walking around, and I hope you all all saw the Birmingham Children's March. But children are the one who confronted him and toppled him, and we wouldn't have a Voting Rights Act without children. So you just need to be clear about how dangerous this time is, but how powerful you are to turn it all around. And so I hope you'll go back and understand that you face as much of a challenge as we faced 50 years ago. And I have no doubt that you will step up to the plate to do it, and we're going to do everything we can to make sure that this next generation of young servant leaders, you, are going to be many times more and better than we are. So thank you for coming. Go home. Let's get to work. Thank you so much.